Tom is great. And what is your current role? I'm senior lecturer in interactive media design. I just found it quite, I found it very interesting when, you, when Eric brought it to me, and uh, I found it would actually tie really well into um, mm -hmm. one of the briefs, or one of the modules, mm -hmm. which is usability in mobile applications. Which, on the back of that yeah. project, has now been really written, the title of it. Oh, which escapes me at the moment, but it's more to do with uh, mobile applications and portable devices. Project manager, I suppose, of, in, of um, the interactive media side, and also um, mentor. I mean, that's really it. I mean, the students, the brief set by Intel, all we can do is steer them as you would do if you were an art director or a project manager in business, but also then, in view with the educational hat on, is steer them in the right direction. My understanding of the project mm -hmm. was about, say, well, initially it was starting off to make data available on the move to people of a certain age, demographic, uh, but since then it developed more into simply being a device with a screen no larger than uh, seven, seven inches across down and how that device could then be used using Intel chip technology. And from that, basically, it was an open brief, so the students wrote their ideas, presented them to staff, and we analysed and sort of pointed them in which direction we thought were the strongest thing and uh, the piece of work or interface from my side that would sit and work intuitively and hit all the, all the testing that uh, they've been taught in the first year and then build on personas, scenarios and then build up the interface from that and then usability and the usual six percent process. Formative assessment all the way through, within, which was great actually. I have to say, the formative feedback students got from industry, from yourself, from Neil, um, from a little bit from David, but the formative feedback is absolutely second to none because that's what they, they thrive on. That they don't realise they're getting it, yeah. but they thrive on it and then their reflective piece at the end mm. of the project. And it was assessed on the learning outcomes from the usability mobile applications mm. module for me because it fitted them all, it hit all the learning outcomes and actually a couple more yeah. bit of icing on the cake. Yeah. So that it was assessed as any other module would be because it fitted in mm -hmm. for us. Yes. And that's, by that I mean the interface. But I suppose the first challenge was working with a different discipline in the school. Some very successful groups, some not successful at all. Um, but that's something we'll address, we, should, that, we know that, yeah. we can address that again. Um, challenges, I think writing their own briefs scared a few of them because mm -hmm. they don't quite know what that is and they need a bit of steer and it was good to have Intel say X and Y, I mean it might be worth actually sitting with Intel or with another part in the future and devising a brief that we all know we can work, now we've got this Intel, literally, literally intelligence that we've got yeah. from previous ones, I think that was the largest, the biggest challenge and getting them working and time management um, Possibly the fact that ours was assessed and DFI's was merely pass-fail mm -hmm. caused a little bit of friction within the student bodies with two different cohorts of students. Well actually that had more or less the same thing. What went well was the journey for some students, not just the final thing, actually working together, understanding the input from mm -hmm. the stuff I've taught uh, my students in the first year, which is the understanding of a specific six mm -hmm. days design process, the creation of personas, scenarios, mm -hmm and then testing, testing, testing yes. again, and then on interface design, um, I already use certain, like some heuristic testing, I'm not a big fan of it, but then we had Gilbert in, yes. Gilbert Copton, who, um, he was very good with, with looking at that usability side, in, in, in a very dry academic sense, but also he, he knows exactly what it is on their heuristics. Um, some of the students brought in the um, stuff from Copenhagen the University that we looked at last year, so it's more metaphorical. And that was really good. Mm. That, that, that really was successful for me, and I felt yes. good in an academic sense that there was certainly some pedagogical teaching then that had fed into this, and that was good. Well, I don't think anything could have been done better in this room because it was, you know, we all had to hit the ground running, and I think what can be done better yeah. is, as I've just said, I think, is work, within, work with the partner closer, to mm. so create a solid group, and then work with ourselves. Mm. So we know that, for example, with my lot, it's a, it's a module, it fits within this. Obviously, there's the constraints of an mm. outside partner, mm. uh, but that's what we do, that's easily dealt with. Um, 
and basically get, uh, get the students to understand that this is a real world mm. environment. You know, we don't have, my course doesn't have a sandwich unit. This yes. is the closest they'll get to it. Mm. And I think actually some of them have seen that in them, and that needs to be handed home. Um, I think it works well in second year. Mm -hmm. Third year just couldn't do it because it's only a three year course. DFI, mm. they've just finished their sandwich, haven't they? They're yes. around. So they, they've got a different spin on it. Yes. Um, so I think basically just working out the logistics. Because the project itself is great. The yes. feed, as I say, formative feedback is great. Submitted feedback, it may be interesting to have had Nick or one of the partners look at, not perhaps give a mark, but look at the final piece and see, you know, look, look at how we mark them. 